guys. I'm real excited. I just got the new Testo Smart Probes. This is the refrigeration set, and this is a real-time unboxing. This is the first time I unboxed it. I'm going to cut the tape. Let's see. I'm excited. Let's see what we got here. Looking good. Just cut that. Testo Smart Probes refrigeration set. I guess that's German. <laughs> and slide that off. It's in this uh, kind of like a soft case, semi soft, but kind of rigid. Let's see. Moment of truth. So there's uh, one side of it. Velcro strap here. Take this out. Real nice. So it's basically like the same uh, uh, pipe clamp as their, um, you know, all their 550s. The spring on this one feels uh, more stiff. All right, there's this guy. This is the, one of the pressure probes. Good. I think the batteries are already in here. I'll have to see about that. Okay, now let's go on the other side. It's going to be the same exact thing. Yeah, all your instructions. Got some batteries in here. So it looks like, I don't know. Some of them, I think, have batteries. The ones with the pull tabs, I think, already have the batteries in them. I kind of looked at the instructions online. Pull this guy out. Very nice, very nice. So I'm going to pull these out and I'm pull this tab out, get the batteries going. Like I said, it looks like the, the pipe clamps have the batteries in them already with the pull tab you pull out. Pull that guy out. So I'm going to pause the video here and see uh, what the battery situation is. I'm going to get all the batteries in. Okay, so on the pressure probes here, you just uh, unscrew the cap. It's uh, threaded right there, so unscrew it. You kind of pull it out and you just pull the tab, one of these tabs out, the plastic uh, strip out, and uh, it goes in a certain way. There you go. Does it have an O-ring in here? Not sure if I could see an O-ring. I think I kind of see, no, I don't, I don't think there's no O-ring, so this doesn't look like it's meant for, you know, wet weather. So this goes in a certain way. Okay, you just screw that back on. All right, okay, so it looks like they all have pre-installed batteries. You just got to pull out those plastic tabs. Now on the pressure probes, they don't have the rubber uh, seal in there. It looks like it's some kind of Teflon or nylon seal. So I wonder if you can put the rubber seal in there, the standard rubber seals, or you have to get these from Testo. I don't know. Uh, I think each probe takes three uh, AAA batteries, so you got one spare set that they gave you. Not bad. And in this pouch, looks like they gave some lanyards that go in right here. Okay, what else? I saw something else in here. This little, little pouch. Like some, uh, yeah, little um, colored sticker. They're like dot stickers. So I guess you mark your your probes, which one's the high side or the low side. That's good. Yeah, that's all that's in there. Okay, let's see if I could figure out how to connect them to the app. Got the app already on my tablet here. Gonna launch it, the Smart Probes app. Let's see. Okay, 
So I already configured this app for the American measurements. You click on this sprocket, you go edit view, and you click on that arrow and PSI and all that. And okay, let's see if I can get this going. So you just press it. It's flashing yellow. It's the light's kind of dim. Actually, it's flashing green. You can't really see the the light and sunlight. So it's green. Flash flashing green. <laughs> yellow. Now it's flashing green. Yeah, the lights are kind of dim. It's kind of hard to see in sunlight. Okay, so now let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, I think I figured this out. Okay, what you do, click on plus. Okay, you see a listing there. Those are the last three digits of the serial number. So we're going to select one. And at that 649 serial number. Let's add it to the another one to the high side. Okay, and that's only showing it's only showing one. Click that. Okay, there we go. Now let's add the pipe clamps. And we'll go down here. We'll click on the plus. Okay, there they are, both both listed. Okay, we'll select the 613. There we go. And we'll click on the other side, the 581. There you go. Yeah, they're both in this. They're both in the sun, so they're they're getting different measurements. But we'll do uh, more testing later on. So definitely pretty cool, pretty cool. And you know the app is kind of the same as the uh, the 550 app, sorta table. You could change your refrigerants over here. They're all listed. That's nice. I just have it set on 407C. I was playing around with this a little earlier with the app. And so, you know, that's all these uh, settings on the app, all these sections. So target, superheat. I guess you could enter some info in there. I don't know, this is kind of my, one of my first times looking at this, so definitely pretty cool, definitely pretty cool.